So here he comes, Walcott of Panama. His first attempt in the men's F55 javelin. Tunisia, by the way, just uh, referring back to Tlele, have won eight gold medals in each of the last two world championships and are well on the course to beating that. And Latin America has become a bit of a javelin powerhouse the past few years. That's uh, 19 metres, 92. He's in sixth place. There's a Panamanian in fifth as well, Francisco Leonardo Sedeno. Lifetime best of 23.09. Yusinov leading championship record. 32.01, it's three throws in a row. Nineteen meters sixteen. No improvement. Yes. Sometimes can be another multi category event at major championships. So was it the Europeans last year? Minasora oh, choose in this one silver in the F fifty six. And must have a use enough. A Bulgaria won bronze in that, but the champion Alexei Kiryanin of Finland, European champion, is F56, so he's not in this. Sometimes happens just to guarantee strong fields. 1995, now that's his best so far, but he stays in sixth place. There is confirmation of his 1995. <laughs> Well, back to the long jump. Carol Kuzin of Poland. Sits in third position. Thirty-nine. You saw flash up on the screen. He's now about to take his third. Thirty point one eight is his lifetime best, and that is shy of the thirty metre mark. So he won't be breaking a lifetime best in his opening three throws. Foul in his first. Twenty-nine thirty-nine. In his second, that one there looks as though it won't be as far as his second throw of the competition. A white flag given as he moves himself out of position. The athletes with three throws first up, all the field with a triple effort to begin with until the field is narrowed down for the final three rounds. Twenty-eight seventy-six. Second position for Karol Kozin of Poland. Yes, sir. Abdeliz Al Sayed of Egypt with his first attempt. I think uh, the commentators of the domestic season down in Australia, Mossy and Robbo, will be very pumped to see a headband being worn in the javelin. I think they're fans of the headband, aren't they? Very much so. He's been around a long time, this man. He was the bronze medalist in uh, 2008 in Beijing. 
Maybe the headband was there too. Well, 26-54 puts him in fourth position. His second attempt now. On up! And that looks much bigger. He's got a, a personal best of 30.92, a season best of 28.57. And his season best may well fall because that looks like it's around and above the 30 metre mark for the Egyptian. 30.32, that is a season best for Yasser Abdelaziz El Sayed of Egypt. So one more throw to come. And he's currently up there in second position. His third attempt. Well, he really put some into that one. Big yell there as he let go of the javelin. But that hasn't gone as far as his first mark because it hasn't got up there to that 30 metre line you can see. 30.32 for his second, 26.54 for his first. So there has been an improvement throughout, but this one here doesn't look like it's going to be any further than his second attempt in this competition of his first three throws. There you go, 29.24 though. He stays in second position. So Kozen of Poland, who threw just before that, he drops down to third. So you can see now the athletes being untwined from their chair. They have to be strapped down so that they stay in position because as you see in this category, in that seated position in the F55, they have to be strapped into the seat because the javelin is thrown so difficult and they have to be down on their buttocks when they throw the actual javelin or that is a foul as we've seen many times in these contests in different categories or different female and male categories over the past uh, few days so Thank you very much. just takes a little bit of time to put him into the chair and then it takes a little bit of time to get him out off the bench and back into the wheelchair as they're doing now and you can see from the pictures they also then once the athlete is removed from his throwing apparatus need to change the apparatus for each athlete and strap that down so that it doesn't move as the athlete throws so it does slow things down a little bit it's a technical, lengthy process, but... Oh, he's happy with that. It has to be done. And El Sayed just... resting there. So we now move along to... Ramunas Verbovicius of Lithuania. The Lithuanian with his first of three. Well, Verbovicius has a lifetime best of 25.77. That was set this year. And that one there may have beaten the lifetime best already with his very first throw. He's had a bit of warming up. Plenty of emotion going into that one. So there you have it, 26.56 with his very first throw as a new lifetime best for the Lithuanian. That takes him up into fifth position. Second throw. Well, that's got even further. So he set a lifetime best earlier this year. He's then come into this competition at the IPC Athletics World Championships in Doha. Day five, what do you do? You go up there, take your first throw, you set a new PB. You sit, you sit, you sit yourself back down and get yourself ready again. And all of a sudden, Verbovicius is back into a, another personal best, 27.23. So he's made an improvement there somewhat of just under a metre for his second. He stays in fifth position but if he shows that improvement again with his third one he may well be moving up a little bit higher can he make it a three pbs in a row here not with that one so great effort in the first two personal best both times number three 
will wait confirmation of that, but he's currently sitting in fifth position. Yusnov leads with a championship record of 32.01. 26.56 is the official confirmation of his third throw. Raminus Verbovicius of Lithuania, a personal best for him, but he sits in fifth position. So the club competition is now over. Let's return to the men's javelin. Uh, again, three throws at a time. Competition's been running for an hour, so this is Joachim Kreselot of Poland. Well, the lead being held here by Mustafa Yusinov of Bulgaria, 32-01 championship record. El Said in second place with 30-32 for Egypt and the other Polish in this, Karol Kazan of Poland. Third place, 29, 39. 25-82 is lifetime best set this year. So here he goes. Still think these are uh, set up throws for him. Going out around 25 meters so far, which is around his lifetime best, but he'd need to improve it by four meters in order to get into the medals and try and catch up his compatriot, Karel Kozun. Chris Aluk, who's 25 years old. So that his first attempt to be measured. To the build up. It's gone down as a foul. There was lifting. So one count. <laughs> Just lifted on his throwing side, evidently, according to the judge. So, second attempt. Did well. Get it in towards the uh, scoring zone, if you like. Get beyond 20 metres. The Panamanians we saw earlier are eighth and ninth now. 14 competitors in this, all with three throws each, and then the top eight. Round off with their final three. That's 25.38. He's up into seventh place already. He's close to a lifetime best. He's only a centimeter away from sixth behind Rusty Rusty. Hmm. Hmm. So his final attempt for now. 25 meters is the first line, 30 is the second. Yeah. That might be an improvement of a little bit, but not by much. Yeah. Yeah. Final line is the world record quadrant. And that's 25-19, and he stays in seventh place. Krasilok then 25-1-9, seventh position for him. Yusnov, <laughs> top of the pile, Bulgarian, new championship record. Coming up soon. Coming up soon on the track is the men's T13, 200 metres. Featuring a good friend of mine, Chad Paris, who's actually, he said he's going to be the first person to sign up to my new business idea, which is Blinder. It's like Tinder, but for blind athletes. And instead of seeing photos of your matches, you get to hear clips of their voice. And so Chad said, 
he wants to get in on a rock bottom stock and be able to make a lot of money with me. Maybe you've copyrighted us. I was going to say that, otherwise you've just given away a cracking <laughs> exactly. idea and you're going to lose millions. And you call yourself a businessman. Well, you are one in a million, ever day hand. Here we are, back to the shot put. That's Mac Salah, Faraj Zida. His first attempt. Well, that is some effort, isn't it? Well, the world record, 10.68, set by the Qatari Abdul Rahman in Doha. It's, it's actually his third attempt. It's a world record. He's already broken it. 11.45 in his first. Then he went 11.28, 11.46. He's beaten his own world record that he set just moments ago at 11. 46 there, and he's the first competitor in the competition. Well, the current world record holder, or what was the world record holder, Abdul Rahman, Abdul Qadir, Abdul Rahman from Qatar. We return to the Javelin and the Kirko Ferreira of Brazil in the F55. Yusinov with a championship record leading, 32-01. Coming in his second throw, three throws in a row. Now that's a serious one, that's around the 30 meter mark. By Lecargo Ferreira. And he's bombarding that line so far tonight. That might just have crept over 30 meters. Strength generated and distance with great difficulty. 29.85 is a new continental record. He goes into third place with his first throw. El Said of Egypt in second place. Yusinov of Bulgaria in the lead. So Ferreira, excellent continental record there. Area record is it is officially named. Bring all of South America. So 29.85 in the first round. Had a whole series of uh, practice throws which were around that, and that too looks to be marginally shy of 30 meters, but not very far away at all. Good efforts. Lukogo Ferreira, 29.84, his lifetime best. Going into this, he beat the continental record by one centimeter. It's 29.29 with his second attempt. So he stays in third place. One more throw to go. Calm, still night in Doha. Quite mild, by Doha's standards at least. Final throw of this sequence of three to come for Lonis de Kirko. It's his third round try. Everybody of the 14 finalists getting three throws at each visit. So, Le Kirko Ferreira. That's a better one. That's beyond 30 meters, certainly. It didn't stick in the ground. So the judges will go where they feel it first impacted. And the point came down beyond 30. Now, 30, 96 was the final round throw by Yusinov. 32-01 is the championship record. I don't think it's there. Over 30 meters will extend his continental record. His coach certainly seems to like it. And he will too. 30 meters, 56. Extends his South American record. And the Cargo Ferreira goes into second place. The javelin, Lee Gung. This will be his first attempt. So in order to break into the top eight, 25-39, Rusdi Rusdi of Bulgaria is there into the medals. El Said of Egypt 
30-32, three throws in rotation. It's not beyond 20 metres. Does seem beyond 15, though. I see the trajectory, came down very, very strongly. Uh, they are throwing into a little bit of a headwind tonight, although it's fluctuated a bit more than usual. 16 metres 99 in the first round. 16, 99, and he's in 10th place. And the wind has picked up slightly as the evening's gone on. Looking across at the flags on the far side, and they're blowing a lot more than they were when this session started at 4 o'clock this afternoon, three and a half hours ago. Well, here you go. Here he goes again, Lee Gang. I think that's a little bit better. Seventeen meters eighty one. Well, that's an improvement of almost a meter for Lee Gang. 20.01 is his lifetime best. Can he reach that? That's, I think, again, an improvement, not quite of a metre or so. He started with 16.99, went on to 17.81. And this has been measured just a little bit beyond that. That's 18 metres 52. Lee Gang. Mustafa Yusinov of Bulgaria, a championship record of 32.01. Eclipsing outside of Egypt's record that came back in July 2013 in Lyon. There is the confirmation of the full result. Yusinov, championship record 32.01. Zaric, personal best of 31.13 in second. And Ligurgo Ferreira of Brazil in third position.